What's good, fellas? What's good, America? How you doing? Whew. Well, you know, I want to thank everybody for uh, for their messages, man. You know, um, um, there's a lot of people that wrote me, messaged me, and told me, you know, that my words and my interviews had changed their life basically for the better. I appreciate that. You know, and um, you know, I, I'm a man, I'm a man, you know, to to admit that um I don't glorify and I don't I don't want to I don't want no one to think that um you know I'm some type of you know, God or disciple. You know what I'm saying? I'm a I'm a regular human being. And you know, a, a lot of my life, you know, that was revolved around prison uh strictly with survival tactics, man. And I had to put it in my in my thoughts, in my heart, in my every day I had to breathe in how to become a natural barbaric person inside this administration, this crooked administration, which is prison. And you know, and that time I had to reign supreme, you know what I mean? And doing that, so basically, basically, basically that's what it, it revolved around. And um, I want to um, I want to reflect on some things. I want to reflect on, you know, the Attica, the Attica riot. I incited the Attica riot, and um, I got a new charge. A lot of people got new charges. People got beaten up, you know. And it was a day that I was ready to die. But I'm gonna tell you what was going through my mind. You know, what was going through my mind was the life I've been reading about for so many years. And it was George Jackson, blood in my eyes, soul dad brothers. You see, George, with his attempt to escape, was little brother Jonathan, who came into the courtroom while George was detained and he shot officers and judge, whatever the case may be. He was killed in the process of that. But he was trying to, the thing is he was trying to free his brother. He felt some injustice to his brother and that's what happened. So, you know, with that said, man, it was feasible. It may have seemed barbaric, but it was feasible. But we can't ignore the fact that this man loved his brother so much that he was willing to lose his life for his brother. And so far that George lived on after that in prison because of that, and he lost his life for his fellow inmates, for his fellow prisoners. So, you know, when I was in the yard, and they beat a fellow prisoner up, I've never seen or met before. That was on my mind, George Jackson. So, you know what I mean? That was on my mind. So it was war. Just something else I want to touch on because I don't want y'all to think, you know, you know, the Bloods, we get a lot of recognition for that because I started to incite the riot. But I got I to gotta shout out to the Latin Kings, Nietas, and, you know, the Muslims and the Five Percenters. They all got down together, you know, it was a whole movement done inside the prison. We all went. We all went in. We all went in. You know what I'm saying? There was a few people that gave up. White flag, girl. But um, I made up my mind to was willing to die that day. I wasn't expected to live. I wasn't expected if I lived, I got compensated for it. 
Oh, my mother was gonna get compensated for it. My family would just lost me. But they would remember me. Like the prison would remember me. And like this world would have remembered me. So, what that said is that I don't glorify what I've done. That was something that I had to do. I just don't go around doing things without a cause. Everything is for a B cause. You know what I mean? And uh, one of the other things I want to touch on is that shout out to BGF. You know, shout out to BGF. Shout out to my man D. Wiz. I try to keep him on a low. But someone mentioned him in the podcast like a week ago. You know, another, you know, person. And um, I called him and I said, yo, man. Well, he called me first. Then I called him back and said, yo. And then he told me about it. And I looked at the interview and I was like, nigga said, yo. You know, you're trying to be a goat. And he said, yeah, but I'm all right. I said, all right. I said, that's my movie, though. That's something I'm supposed to talk about. I just want to talk about you. I just want to talk about the power. You know, the movement. The, the unity that you got for brothers out here. That you bump for brothers. Like, these brothers don't even know. You know what I'm saying? Brothers don't even know that BGF, Black and Roll family, is, is almost a part of... A, 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 it's a part of a movement that's... that's unifies blacks all together. But these are strong black. These dudes is military. These dudes is militant. Disciplined. And you're not going to find a lot of watered down gorillas in there. Not at all. Every last one of them say is official. And, this, and, 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 and I got to give it to the best of the best uh, who got that that uh, movement is Wiz you heard so I gotta salute him you know what I mean because he got a very strong very little populated but very strong individually you know black gorilla family you heard I got to shout him out for that because goddamn, it's the realest it can get, you know? And they, they protocols are strong. Their protocols are sufficient. They books is what I got that ideology from. You know, early on in the Bloods, I took the concept from the BGF and had motherfuckers read books. It wasn't about... It wasn't about no fucking OG Mac. Niggas, I didn't know who OG Mac was. We, we, we didn't fall under what OG Mac was or who he was. I, we were stronger than OG Mac. It was dudes like us were stronger than OG Mac. Someone said that to me a couple of days ago, man. The dudes that made or was more real than the founder itself. You smell this shit? That shit was done by coincidence. I'm going to say... It was coincidental because just so happened that he came up. He came out of nowhere and somehow, some way, someone sanctioned him for him to be the, the founding the Godfather. I don't know who it was. I don't want to get into it. I don't want to know who it is. I don't want to know who got into it. But I'm going to try to know something that didn't start it because of him. It didn't. We had no idea what it was or who he was in the beginning so that's me you know we just got on our brotherly love override oppression and destruction so you know with that said you know what I mean about us being under a rat or whatever the case may be man we didn't fall under him he didn't make us he didn't make me he didn't make Wildcat. He didn't make a lot of these niggas. Well, whoever fell up under him, that's, that's their problem. You know what I'm saying? But I'm talking about from the root, from the very seed of the plant was us. 
before there was anything, before there was chapters. I'm going to shout out to, I smoked the dead eye yesterday too. Lenny McKenzie, he and Comstock, I want to ensure, and I want to tell the brothers, man, try to reach out to him, extend your hand out to him, you know, because he needs that support. Don't go writing this nigga on some dumb shit about, he don't want to hear none of that. He on the spiritual shit right now. We not trying to get this nigga no more time. I'm not trying to give. We ain't trying to give open up doors for none of that. Show the niggas some love and some, some love. Show the niggas some love and some respect, man. You know what I'm saying? Sooner or later, I I be able to get out some contact and have the homies uh, and have people write them, you heard? Support them. You know, send them some money. You know what I'm saying? And that's what that's about. You heard? You know what I'm saying? I love I love that eye. You heard? You know what I mean? Cause, cause early on, and 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 our incarceration, you know, we was like, we was like puppies. He was a big dog. We was like the puppies when he came out of one B, and he trained us like puppies. He was rough on us. You know what I mean? He didn't try to hurt us, none of that. But he was rough. He roughhoused us. He trip us, throw us, boom. He roughed us. He made us mean to the point to where all of us want to flip on him. Well, we should eat that nigga food, bro. We know we couldn't do that. But we thought about it, you heard? Because that nigga was rough housing us. But he made us tough. Tougher than what we was. He was a big dog. We go out in the snow. This nigga got us rolling around in the snow, tripping us because we got shackles on. He tripping us, you heard? Beat, throwing us around. And he did all of that to us. He was roughhousing us. Like a, you see a big dog do his puppies. And you see how his puppies always go at the big dog, playing, and the big dog will psh, smack him away, push the fuck out of here. Psh, that's what, Dead Eye used to do that to us. You heard? Dead Eye used to do that to us. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? Um, Dead Eye sent his love to D. Wiz. D Wiz, that I salute you, homie. That I salute you 100%. I always salute you, big homie, you heard? But yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta shout out the real. I gotta shout out the real. You know, um, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, you know what I mean? You know, make a long story short, you know, support that brother. That I, you know, and um, you know what I mean? I feel his pain, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, things of that nature. All right, I want to touch on uh, another subject. Um, this one is dealing with, you know, this one dealing with life. You know what I mean? This one dealing with life. And um I just wanna thank, you know, all these people that said that I had some effect, some effect to their life when they read my story. I still get stuff in. I try to answer as much as I could. I always try to answer as much as I could with with the messages. I really I really try hard and I you know and some may come with a smoke screen, but I still show my respect. I am still show my love. Whether you like me or not, I'm going to show my respect, show my love. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? I, I just want to continue on doing something good. I got I got the uh, hoodies and the t-shirts come out, you fool, you heard? Because I know it's getting a little cold. Flip got that whole, Flip strip got the whole thing, you know, Going for me, you know what I mean? Sooner or later, I'll be eventually handling a lot of stuff, doing what I do, but you know what I'm saying? Uh, I got, uh, they want me to, you know, a caller information. Um, they want me to do a caller's uh, TV, caller's TV host thing where people call in, they can say all type of shit. I can say all type of shit, you heard? Hang up, bump, fuck out of here, you heard? <laughs> you know what I mean? 
You know what I mean? Got, I got a lot of shit going on. I got the interrogation room going on. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm in good spirits. You know what I mean? You know, the devil's a lie. You know what I'm saying? But everything, what I'm talking to you about, is going to, uh, I got way more stuff to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Everything wasn't good. When I came home, you know what I'm saying? Got into the loop with the rap, been in videos and all this crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of shit started happening. You know what I'm saying? They had the hip hop police on me. So, you know what I mean? I ain't getting to that yet. How I had to go undercover, do my Vist and Chin shit. You know what I mean? Hocus Pocus, the 25th law of the 48 laws of power. The 25th law and the 48 laws of power is what I had to inherit. I had to put into progress. The 25th law of the 48 laws of power. Recreate yourself. Never set society forces upon you. But there's a lot of rumors being told. You heard? Some true, some not. But I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you soon. It's going to blow your mind. Because if anybody know me, everybody know me since I was young. You know? They know what I was about. Boxing, running miles in the street, you heard. You know, doing what I do to survive. You know, selling drugs and shooting, man. man I've been through all of that, you heard. So, you know what I mean? Right now, I'm trying to get some articles of me in the 90s. I'm even trying to get the Source magazine they had with Tupac on the front cover, August edition, in 94, page 23. They had the book called The Ville in it, and um, they had an article about me in there. So I'm trying to accumulate a lot of these messages, a lot of these uh, um, articles and stuff like that, things of that nature. And you know what I mean? I'm going to put it together. I got a great story to tell. That's going to feel it more than y'all felt the interview with Queen's Flip. Because I'm not only smart, but I'm human. So, you know. Thanks to educational things. Thanks to all the dudes, the real dudes I've been around. Thanks to all the books they made me read. Thanks for all the law they gave me to do, to get out of the prison. Thanks for Tut. Thanks for Wiz. Thanks for Tyrone T. Black Hunter. Shout out to Jesse Smith. You heard? He did the movie before I suffered struck with 50. He was a producer. You know? Thanks to my man Supreme. You heard? Fort Green, you heard? Thanks to True, thanks to Tone, Twan, you heard? Thanks to my Billies, thanks to the BZF, yo, thanks for, thanks for all of, everybody on my side, you heard? Thanks to everybody pushing for me, you heard? Thanks for everybody who pushing for me, man. If I forgot you, man, don't worry about it. Just remind me, you heard? But thanks to you know, up. Uh, thanks for, for, for my supporters. You know what I mean? That's it, man. You know, so with that said, have a blessed day. And I continue to talk, continue to breathe some knowledge in you, continue to breathe some wisdom in you. And peace, you heard? One love.